Hey, it's Tom Jacobs. Today, we're talking about customer service. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about customer service today because this is one of my passions. And over the years, I've noticed that customer service is going by the wayside and it really, quite frankly, it upsets me because it seems so easy to give really good customer service and yet so often I don't see it. And you would think at certain locations that they would have really, really good customer service like hotels, uh, restaurants and things like that, but oftentimes there's not. So I want to share with you a very simple story about a customer service experience that I received, very, two very similar experiences, two very different results. So the first, I was at a major grocery store chain that's located here in, in Texas, <coughs> Kroger, um, but I won't name them Kroger, but I, I promise I will not name them by name. It starts with K, ends with Kroger. <laughs> Anyway, I was uh, going and I was, I don't forget what I was looking for, but I was looking for something and I wasn't finding it. So I went up to one of their people, they wear blue shirts and I go up to the person and I was like, hey, can you help me find the syrup? I don't know, I don't eat syrup, drink syrup, but let's just say it's syrup. I don't know why that even came to my head. But, so I said, well, can you show me where this, or can you tell me where this syrup is? And it's like, yeah, it's on aisle five down there. Okay, great, I go to aisle five and those aisles are pretty long and I'm like walking through and I'm looking and oh, there's the syrup and I get it and then I go and on with my shopping. Great, okay, so the, she told me where it's at. All right, no biggie. Now, let us contrast that to another experience I had at a very different grocery store. This one was called Sprouts. And I don't know if you have Sprouts in your area. It's a fairly new grocery store chain. It's kind of like a Whole Foods without the whole price, if you know what I mean. If you ever shop at Whole Foods, it's like, oh my God, it's so expensive. But uh, Sprouts is still very healthy stuff and it is a lot cheaper than uh, Whole Foods. But anyway, they pride themselves on customer service. And again, I was going to uh, Sprouts and I was looking for Panko breadcrumbs and I was going all over the store and it's actually not that big of a store either and I was like where is a panko? So I'm like wandering around and I ended up by the dairy uh, section and there was somebody restocking the dairy. And I was like oh excuse me could you tell me where the the panko breadcrumbs are? And he said yeah um, actually let me just take you over there. It was literally all the way over on the other side of the shopping store of the store. And he walked me all the way over there, took me to exactly where it was, and it was on the very bottom shelf, which of course I would not have seen, even though I'm kind of short, I still wouldn't have necessarily seen it. And he showed me exactly where it was. He stopped his stocking, walked all the way across the store with me, showed me exactly where it's at. That is awesome customer service. And so I had to ask him, I was like, hey, thank you so much for walking me all the way over here and, and doing that. I, I do a lot of customer service education and create systems. And I just, I'm curious, were you taught to do that? And, and tell me a little bit about how you were taught. And he was very happy to uh, tell me too. He said, well, they, they tell us, the store manager and the trainers uh, that, that train them on customer service, tell them that the customers don't always know where everything is and it is our obligation to show them where it is. Even if it takes an extra two, three minutes, it creates a better client experience for them. And those people will come back and ultimately our company will grow and we will all be able to keep our jobs and there will be more opportunities for us. And I'm like, wow. That is a great educational piece for anybody that owns a business because you could tell people all day long, well, you know, give good customer service, but there's two aspects that I want to share with you. One, you got to show them what good customer service is. You can't automatically expect everybody to know what you believe customer service is. So definitely, number one, show them what customer service is to you and what you expect out of your company. And number two, tell them why. Why? 
And, and that needs to be important to them. Like, why should I, as an employee, do that? Oh, it's my job? Well, that's not always going to uh, thrill somebody to do uh, the right stuff. So why? Well, I'm going to be able to get more advancement. I'm going to be able to keep my job. The company's going to do much better. There's profit sharing. Whatever that why is, it needs to relate back to the employee. So that is my customer experience for you this week. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in and these two important steps. Number one is definitely tell people and show them what the customer experience should be at your facility, at your company. And number two, tell them why it is important to them to provide good customer service to the client. Those are my two takeaways for today. And I invite you to come to my website, tomjacobs.com, and uh, download a bunch of information, get on my list. If you want to talk to me about customer experience, sales, marketing, what I can do in terms of the consulting work that I do with my clients, what I can do for you, feel free to get in contact with me. I'd love to chat with you about your business and how I can help you out. Again, it's Tom Jacobs, tomjacobs.com, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>